Hello, I'm hematologist oncologist Dr. Tony Talibi, and this lecture pertains to the iron metabolism and iron overload chapter of hematology and transfusion medicine for review made simple. Average iron storage in humans is 40 milligrams per kilogram. Dietary iron is usually 20 milligrams daily, 10% absorbed in the duodenum, but may increase absorption if iron deficient or anemic. Iron may be either absorbed as inorganic iron, will need vitamin C to enhance absorption, or within the heme molecule, such as in meat. Hepcidin is a very important molecule to know as a 25 amino acid peptide that regulates absorption from the GI tract and release of iron from macrophages by binding to ferroportin and leading to its degradation. Once absorbed into the GI tract, iron may be transported to the liver via the port of circulation by the enterocyte ferroportins, or it may be swapped off in the feces. This is again very important. If hepcidin levels are increased, then ferroportin levels are decreased, so less iron will be absorbed via the GI tract, such as in chronic disease. Once enough iron released into the general circulation, then each transferrin molecule binds to the two iron atoms and aids in the transport of iron throughout the body. So remember, ferroportin transports iron to the liver, transferrin transports iron to the rest of the body. <clears throat> in anemia of chronic disease, there's increased hepcidin production due to increased IL-6 cytokine from chronic disease, leading to decreased iron absorption due to decreased ferroportin from the GI tract. On the opposite side, in hereditary hemochromatosis, there is decreased hepcidin production, leading to iron overload state due to increased iron absorption from the GI tract. Transferrin bound iron is transported to the erythroblast where iron is endocytosed and used in the production of hemoglobin molecule. After 120 days, RBCs are catabolized by macrophages and the iron is released by the ferroportin into the circulation where transferrin binds to it again and the same process follows. Iron is stored as either ferritin or hemosiderin. Iron needs to be in the Fe plus 2 state, the ferrous state, to be able to bind to oxygen. It cannot bind oxygen in the Fe plus 3, the ferric state. Moreover, iron may be toxic as it can catabolize the formation of toxic free radicals. General causes of iron overload state include 1. Multiple blood transfusions, 2. Ineffective erythropoiesis, such as thalassemias, 3. Decreased hepcidin production, so increased iron absorption. Anemia of chronic disease will be discussed further in the hyperproduction anemia section, but just the take home is, remember, hepcidin is an antimicrobial peptide, its transcription is influenced by OS6. Hepcidin impairs macrophage iron recycling and decreases intestinal iron absorption. Side note, hepatic adenomas also produce increased hepcidin, leading to anemia of chronic disease. <clears throat> Transfusion-induced secondary hemochromatosis case report. 65-year-old female with myelogenous lactate syndrome who has had more than 35 units of packed RBC transfusions presenting with feeling of fatigue with hepatomegaly. Ferritin 7,000, hemoglobin of 7, and a transfer and saturation of 95%. Remember, each unit of packed RBC contains 250 milligrams of iron, which is retained by the endoreticular system. Therefore, iron accumulation will eventually occur with certainty. Therefore, Important to avoid unnecessary transfusions. The treatment is one iron chelation with theodephorous serox, 20 milligrams per kilogram, that's X shade. Deferoxamine up to 40 milligrams per kilogram sub Q, eight hours overnight. It may cause local skin injections, irritation, so consider steroids along with deferoxamine plus rotate injections. Ascorbic acid, 100 mg a day, will increase urinary iron excretion in deferoxamine-treated thalassemic patients. <clears throat> but remember, both deferoserox and deferoxamine are equally effective, but they may cause ocular and auditory problems. So early checkup is essential, as well as renal failure and liver damage, and acranulocytosis in the case of deferoserox. Primary hemochromatosis case report. <clears throat> a 50-year-old man presenting with fatigue, arthralgias, diabetes, and cirrhosis. 
He does not drink alcohol and hepatitis panel is negative. Father also died of cirrhosis. Skin is bronze, liver is palpable, iron saturation 85% with ferritin 6000 and transferrin saturation 90%. The HFE genetic workup reveals HFE C282Y homozygous mutation. This is the key, the C282Y. Hemosiderosis refers to nonspecific iron overload state. Hemochromatosis refers to the clinical expression of iron-induced injury to organs. The human hemochromatosis protein, also known as the HFE protein, is, is encoded by the HFE gene. Genetic mutation causes decreased acetin function, which causes increased iron absorption from the gastrointestinal tract. The C282Y mutation, G2A mutation in nucleotide 845 of HFE gene, causes a cysteine to tyrosine substitution at the amino acid position 282. This accounts for the majority of the genetic and phenotypic expression of hereditary hemochromatosis. 15% of Caucasians in Europe are heterozygous for the C282Y mutation. They will not develop HFE, however. Homozygous C282Y accounts for up to 90% of cases of hereditary hemochromatosis. Second mutation, H63D, histidine to aspartic acid substitution at amino acid position 63, has much less penetrance. Very few homozygous H63D will develop hemochromatosis. <clears throat> Compound heterozygous C282Y and H63D might develop hemochromatosis. Individuals heterozygous for C282Y or H63D do not develop iron overload state. Also, important side note, you may decrease ferritin 30 points with each phlebotomy. <clears throat> Causes of hemochromatosis in iron overload state would be either one, hereditary conditions, such as the C282Y hemochromatosis, two, ferroportin disease, or three, hepcidin hemochromatosis. Next would be multiple blood transfusions, Next, ineffective erythropoiesis, which in which increased RBC destruction causes decreased testidin production and increased iron absorption, such as thalassemias, any hemoglobinopathy, or sideroblastic anemia. And other rare conditions are melanase in an African overload state, A, seroplasmanemia. Seroplasma is needed for the release of iron from macrophages, so think of it in states of elevated iron normal transfer and saturation, and neurologic deficits. And lastly, hereditary atransferinemia, iron overload state secondary to ineffective use of iron by RBCs. <clears throat> Patients with hemochromatosis will have higher transfer and saturation than normal. Liver biopsy is a gold standard for making iron overload diagnosis, but not done as often due to molecular marking of the HFV gene locus. So as far as the boards, what to do for a patient with HFE, C282Y homozygous gene, elevated LFTs, and ferritin of 1,000, obtain liver biopsy to rule out liver cirrhosis. Once liver biopsy is done, the presence of iron is due to, in one hemochromatosis, the iron will be distributed in the parenchyma. With multiple transfusions, however, the iron will be distributed in the copper cells. You may also follow liver iron concentrations via MRI. Screening for diabetes, hypogonadism, and hypothyroidism in iron overload states is essential. Heart failure, not uncommon due to increased iron deposition in the myocardium. <clears throat> Very important, liver cirrhosis may lead to the hepatocellular carcinoma, so check alpha feeder protein on a regular basis. Consider screening family members of HFV C282Y homozygous individuals for elevated transferrin and ferritin. Treatment, phlebotomy. Initiate once ferritin is more than 300 in males or more than 200 in females. May decrease ferritin 30 points with each phlebotomy. Continue with weekly phlebotomy until ferritin is less than 50. Remember, normally removal of one gram of iron will cause anemia. However, since patients with hemochromatosis are three to four grams of iron overloaded, they will need more than 10 phlebotomies. Patients should also avoid raw seafood <clears throat> since Vibrio vulnificus will cause severe infections in patients with liver insufficiency. Iron chelation with concurrent slow hematocrit does not allow for ongoing phlebotomies. 
liver transplantation in the setting of end-stage liver disease. And although the FDA does approve patients with hemochromatosis to donate blood, it is also never it is almost never used for transfusions of recipients. <clears throat> Fair report in disease case report. 35-year-old man with hyperperitonemia of 900, but with low transfer and saturation. This is the key. If you see both elevated hyperferritinemia and transferrin, that will be primary hemochromatosis. If you see high ferritin, low transferrin, that will be ferroportin disease. <clears throat> liver biopsy reveals iron overload being selective in the copper cells of the liver. Subsequently, his father was also discovered to have asymptomatic hyperferritinemia of 3000 with low transferrin saturation. The affected subjects are discovered to have FPN1 gene mutation and without other mutations of the hemochromatosis gene. <clears throat> this is autosomal dominant ferroportin disease and is characterized by hyperferritinemia with a relatively low transfer and saturation of iron due to mutation of the FPN1 gene. Now remember for the hematology boards you have to know the mutations. Iron levels will decrease much more quickly with lobotomy than with primary hemochromatosis. <clears throat> Juvenile hemochromatosis case report. 14-year-old boy with shortness of breath, congestive heart failure, absence of body hair, small testes, so hypogonadism, glucose intolerance, bronze skin, ferritin of 2,500, and transfer and saturation of 98%. <clears throat> this is a rare condition where iron overload occurs at a much lower age. The mutation is in the hemojuvalin gene which is co-receptor for bone morphogenic protein, which lowers sepsidin and increases iron absorption from the gut. Other causes of iron overload states include chronic RBC transfusions. Remember, each unit of blood contains 250 milligrams of iron, thalassemias, ineffective erythropoiesis, and congenital dyserythropoietic anemia and cerebroblastic anemia. This concludes the iron metabolism, iron and overload chapter. Thank you.